this hi this is balaji i am going to teach how to uh, use the autocad electrical uh, screen or uh, workspace first of all i uh, show the ppt of autocad electrical 2014 first we have to open the desktop icon desktop icon uh, you have to this is a symbol in desktop icon after installing the autocad electrical it will be present this like this icon only we can double click uh, to open the autocad electrical i can just opening that minimizing it and just opening that so here is the autocad electrical 2014 i go uh, just clicking it will be open first time it is take time after that it will be open very fastly it yeah is open autocad electrical uh, workspace open you have to click uh, a new new works a uh, work you have to click as new or open uh, already existing uh, work uh, or uh, existing diagram or uh, open sample files sample files are already having sample documents sample file means we have to click new new means we have to uh, ask for a template what type of template we have to select any template i select a cat a cat means there is no any border will come if you select any other means you see here the preview is has been border will come okay i click a cat a cat click and open and this is the window is the drawing one and drawing two will come drawing two is a new window will be come and next slide we see that this is the first space of the auto electrical we have in top of the auto electrical we having the menu bar and here the la layer of status window layer status window present here and the toolbar here uh, here tool what are the tools we have uh, that will be present in toolbar and uh, we can have a project manager here we have to use the projects current current project and uh, what are the projects going on that will be present in the projects window and you see yes icon you see yes icon user coordinate system icon already we discuss in the previous previous uh, video ucs means user coordinate system uh, is the, that is a different user coordinate system that is our partition coordinate system polar coordinate system and relative coordinate system uh, based on that we can select what type of coordinate system used to draw the diagram okay and command prompt line i'll do this also already discuss in the previous video command prompt uh, uh, line uh, we have three types of command we can uh, give three types we can give one for keyboard just to you and us uh, i will show that uh, second time uh, 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 we have to see the see this is a toolbar the menu bar in diagram is crossing on you do only one uh, diagram only so is here this is the menu bar we having the top of the uh, uh, electrical uh, workspace and uh, we have to toolbar this is in the 3d modeling okay we can shift into autocad electrical modeling means we have to what we do we have to select this also i discussed in the previous window workspace uh, how to select autocad electrical this uh, workspace this takes time i see the the uh, window this is the window is a menu bar here this is a menu bar here this is a menu bar and uh, layer status window and this is the layer layer status window we can see, see the status of the layer uh, for our drawing the uh, any drawing we have to set layer layer means we can easily erase hide uh, show we can done by layer uh, layer com command and next one is the toolbar is uh, here is the toolbar toolbar here is tool with uh, no more number of tools present here here the some of the split line sp line fit and uh, sp line cv 
and SP construction line and how to we can uh, we, you drag on or keep the cursor in that place it will show how to draw and what are the command for a X line so here X line is the command we have to give we, we can click here means we can see the what are the drawing tools present here and and project manager here is the project manager this is the project manager and Giancarlo, this is the project manager we already I created the project as electrical and in that electrical I have what are the drawing present that will be present here and and directly drawing present here and uh, we can easily navigate the projects uh, by project manager and UCS icon here this is UCS icon if you see here the 3x y z if you move the icon cursor we can see in the bottom x y z this x y z based on the here here is Similarly, we can uh, navigate to wherever it is. Uh, X Y X Y X Y I Z will be shown in this place. What are the place we having in the window? We have to change the X Y Z at uh, size also. It is showing in meter. We also converted into unit. We have to convert into unit also. Whatever unit we can convert, uh, I will discuss in later in this video and the command prompt line I, and yeah, yeah, this is a command prompt line i have to give three types of command if you type just don't click anywhere and type a type line please see here so this is a directly we typing the line okay line like just we can here l means the command l will me give and press enter that means it's a line command okay you have to write fully l i n e or just type l okay we can uh, get the line uh, I, I type l and enter i don't click anywhere and type and the line command will be executed and you click uh, this one way of command giving and uh, here also in, in toolbar itself you can select it means the line command will be executed and that will be you can draw a line okay you can line draw line easily and uh, third way we have to click here and type line a line line we have to type the line directly this is the way we can give the commands and press enter the line or what are the line the center the line command will be executed okay here is it this is the way we can uh, use the a command prompt uh, three ways of you giving the command already we, i discussed the okay, so one by keyboard uh, giving keyboard itself one by uh, taking from toolbar another by typing in command prompt line and status line okay see here the bottom of the uh, screen we have the status line see here uh, you see here status line here if you draw if you want this grid this is one status line if if it click on the degree display or just type f uh, f7 press f7 on the keyboard we get the grid if you see here the this is the grid showing if i click the grid will be disappear hidden okay this is the way you can uh, and click again we can bring that grid okay this is on a status bar and this is ortho mode next status this is ortho mode if you want to draw a line if you learn the mode is is f8 is the command or the mode we can press in keyboard f8 means also execute this command and i just pressing it if you saw just execute example i type l line i selecting and this is there is no any vertical and horizontal of if i press ortho mode press you see here the line will be in what only in vertical or horizontal direction only it will be come okay 
this is the ortho we can uh, remove that ortho there is a line uh, will be all the direction okay all the direction will be rotated this is the ortho and next one the polar polar means we can uh, click polar if you want if uh, polar the polar uh, will be on if you want to uh, just if you uh, draw a circle in the time the uh, polar will be used if i made the polar see here uh, the polar polar 3.2.3 point, uh, point, point uh, this will come and uh, less than 180 uh, that is the distance already i discussed as i uh, uh, this is the polar coordinate of this is a polar coordinate okay uh, cartesian coordinate is not polar coordinate 4.1.3.3.6712 less than 180 i have changed the polar if you have come 90 degree we show 90 degree 2. Uh, the 2.6 is the distance and the 90 less than 90 is here this is the 0 degree less than 0 degree and this is the 90 degree and 180 degree and 270 degree and and so on. this is a polar coordinate i click it on the resistor and uh, here oh snap oh snap is nothing if you slide here we can uh, i will uh, just uh, i can is disabled and just i you have to right click yeah, on that particular oh, object or snap snap we have see the ex- end point mid point center or setting we have to select all select all if uh, clear all means clear everything uh, will be mid point mid point center node uh, quadrant intersection so that will be select all and give apply and uh, okay if you see if, uh, if you draw any line from the circle the line and circle see here if there is no o snap is on snap is on so again i uh, window i enable the object snap o snap means or object now you see here if you see is the center point of the circle if you click here center point will go is a quadration point and this is the and this is a quadration point and this is a quadration point the symbol will come the green color symbol is coming now if we remove that os uh, disable this is there is no any symbol uh, the os snap symbol is not shown it is a uh, on a status bar and similarly for uh, 3d 3d means is uh, over 3d os snap will be there and this is a uh, tracking is a tracking of os snap we have to enable means we can st- uh, enable Uh, and uh, allow and disallow dynamic uses uses i can i just say uses i can user corner system i can that will be enable this is the main uh, uh, status bar that is status line or status bar this is the main uh, status bar will present in the cursor okay we can cursor if we if we move we can move see the cursor if plus sign the click means the cursor midpoint will be x plus sign plus will be will move in on way and press enter enter and right click and cancel okay we can this and in this way we can the sir are the main windows of the electrical workspace means main tool and line line board and layout and this is the bottom one on other is lay layout button we have to select layout button here if you see here i i select layout one it will be uh, come looking the, like this and layer two a uh, quick view of layer uh, the shifting from uh, some layer to another layer we can uh, shift layer to one, one to one to and uh, this is shifting of this is a layer and we have to easily shift from and bring back to the original we have to click here in the model model we can bring back the original and layout and this is another layout okay we can bring the layout settings okay these are all the main in tools or components present in the autocad electrical workspace 
and we have to draw if you want to draw electrical drawing okay you for that we have to click in the schematic menu you know you have to see that these are all the uh, symbols of electrical autocad and you have to see the icon menu icon menu we have to uh, different icon menu we can just like and uh, this is the electrical uh, symbol present uh, is schematic uh, you have to click the schematic you see the electrical symbols we can click i icon menu we can wire uh, electrical tools are present in this schematic symbol okay we have to and draw the electrical layout uh, for the for this electrical layout and draw in this area this is a window workspace of electrical and and the important uh, status bar i can already we discuss ortho ortho means construct cursor movement in horizontal or vertical direction uh, already i shown that uh, if you oh, uh, on the ortho means we want to only cursor move in horizontal and vertical direction i just typing it here yeah, line command line and click it and see here horizontal and vertical direction only the cursor will be move okay so that this is the ortho we can um, disable and activate by pressing f8 uh, if again pressing f8 or uh, press here the ortho will be uh, disabled and we can draw wherever the cursor move in all the direction okay uh, this is the ortho and next one is the o snap or the object snap allow select the specific point on the object end point midpoint and uh, we already has discussed that if you want to select the end point or midpoint if you, i want to select this midpoint of this line first i select ortho o snap ortho sorry o snap we have to select you yeah, select or type uh, f3 f3 type one means we have to get the o snap and this one we have to type line command and i have to share this is the end point end point showing that end point see that it's end point or midpoint mid midpoint of a circle or end point of the circle and share this is the center point midpoint of the line this line midpoint is here okay that will be shown this is the o snap okay o snap will be again and polar polar already so the polar is horizontal or vertical uh, polar we have to draw a circle we have to draw a circle again uh, drawing circle we have gone to home and draw a circle draw a circle it is not showing the polar okay if you click the polar polar here polar see here this is showing the showing the di di distance as well as less than 180 degree is 180 degree and here 90 degree 2 point 2.065 90 degree and this is zero degree and zero and clock anti clockwise while the polar will be going on polar one it already we discuss about this i see and this is the three main uh, status bar icon we have using and uh, before before uh, going to the icon we have to how to draw the uh, how to draw the margin in the before starting to draw the diagram we have to put margin uh, to the margin or border border we have to create first that we have to main mainly three commands will be used unit command and limits command and draw a three uh, three f a three border a three means nothing a three sheet size amla c size or a4 a3 a2 a1 like s b2 b4 b4 b3 like s the sheet size will be vary uh, here we have to see that the size of a3 is we have to create a border okay in the size of a3 we have to create a border we have to go for uh, first we have to use unit command firstly first first you have to draw uh, draw a diagram you have to set the unit of the 
current be a window so I give you type you have to type units you type units in the command line units the top bar the the bar, pop up window will be open uh, the draw you un, drawing units you have to select the type length type you have to select the length in decimal decimal uh, decimal number engineering uh, fractional scientific you have to select this uh, engineering or decimal number engineering and uh, not uh, engineer decimal yeah uh, decimal and precision after point how many numbers will be shown that will be precision and you have to insert a scale in this area we have to select the scale of the your space i have to select the millimeter millimeter i select and um, from my uh, 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 others are uh, as it is should be and give ok if see here in the uses icon bar the xy is a diagon you see here i have set it set it as mm millimeter units is mm set as millimeter and so this values are in millimeter value okay here they are showing and i have to after setting mm millimeter decimal is 00 and millimeter insertion scale set as millimeter insertion scale set as millimeter and given okay for the first time you have to start drawing after that you have to set the limit we have to set the limit limit means we have to uh, this corner and on the top corner limit how much limit it should be uh, for that you have to if you type the limits limits in the command ram and asking asking for specify the lowest left corner lowest left corner means this corner this corner is the lowest left corner we have to select the zero 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 comma zero this is the lower first corner that will be selected and next to you ask for the upper right corner so in this in this place is the upper right corner what do you have to select if i want to use the f3 sheet a3 sheet is size is 420 comma 297 this a3 sheet size 420 297 you have to type that 420 comma 297 type it and enter if you see it and we have to zoom zoom means is that press enter and a we can see the window will be 420 for uh, right corner having the 420 it will be shown here the here is here here see here see here the uh, x y 0 always is that will be 0 so so the here showing that 0 value and here x and y here this is so midpoint already i shown that the midpoint will be the 0 0 and already i discussed that the coordinate system if you take the x this is x and this is y and uh, this is the midpoint this will be 0 0 and this corner is the 420 uh, that's the a4 sheet corner will be shown again this here this here 0 0 the nearly 0 a y is nearly 0 and uh, uh, see here this here here is in, the, in this point uh, in this point uh, we have to zero zero all the x y z are zero it's nearly zero value uh, in this point uh, okay see here exactly we point that uh, this is a setting of limit after that we have to draw the a3 border okay you have to draw border like this first we have to command line we have to type a command line command uh, we have three ways to give just to keep typing in keyboard or uh, pressing uh, in this recent commands and uh, we have to uh, taken from there i taken from in the toolbar toolbar i click this line specify the first point i have to give us first point first point we have to say this way is zero comma zero first point i typing that zero comma zero and asking for next point so asking for this way the next point okay i have to type at zero 
comma 420 at means what what is the relative coordinate relative coordinate is the previous coordinate related to uh, the next coordinate here zero means and uh, zero axis and y y axis 420 i have to type zero at zero comma 420 here the line will be going uh, an upward this is zero that is x is zero y is 420 at the relation point is at uh, relating one uh, related coordinate uh, here is zero zero learn the zero uh, from zero zero to 420 okay i uh, so x is zero value and uh, y is 420 uh, in this place you see here in the uh, i giving here see here zero uh, 420 x is 40 and y is 420 will be shown i uh, give present here you see here x is 0 and see the bottom of the corner x is 0 y x 420 and z is 0 uh, and uh, i type uh, at 297 x is 297 and y is 0 at relative coordinate means at the output at means it's starting from this point and it first the last from the last point it will take output we put at means we say uh, last point it will be take last point will be take and you have to x axis you have to move 297 comma y axis is 0 you have to press here see here this is x axis 0 and y axis see here this x axis 0 means uh, in the x axis 0 means is a 420 only the 420 x axis will be maintained as it is and uh, y axis will be 297 you see here x axis is 297 y axis is 420 in the left hand corner and we have to type at 420 less than minus 90 or 270 at uh, next we have to put at 420 420 less than minus 90 okay you have to come back less than minus 90 means the polar coordinate here uh, zero is uh, this year this is zero and this is my uh, in clockwise direction is will be nine, minus 90 so we just here uh, and we have to see uh, type c or you have to zero zero means it by bring back to c i typing c let's close the uh, close close means it will be close to the uh, i type is close that's all so we can create at the a3 border okay you can see here here zero 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 here see here uh, x nearly zero zero and here zero four twenty and here four twenty two seventy five and this is a three border will be created and uh, close type uh, created this is why uh, how we created the a three border first we going to uh, we first we going to draw a diagram we have to first we have to set the size of the sheet a sheet will be set the size first unit we have to set and limit after that we have to put a border after that in that border will itself we have to draw a diagram okay this is the way we have to draw a diagram for first beginner we have to set the limit unit after after that set border after the we only we have to set the diagram so draw the diagram okay uh, thank you for watching